What's going on Badger Nation? It's Mike here from AdBadger and today we're going to be looking at a metric every Amazon seller should all know very, very dearly. That is ACOS. We're going to talk about what it is, how to calculate it. So what is and how to calculate ACOS? ACOS is really the relationship between how much you are spending and how much that spend is generating in terms of revenue or sales. So ACOS, A-C-O-S, actually stands for Ad Cost of Sales. Um, that's Amazon's official definition. I often like to call it ad cost over sales because that's literally how you calculate it. You take ad cost and you put that over your sales. So before we get into you know, some examples on how to calculate it, ACOS really answers the question of how your campaigns or an ad group or a keyword is actually doing. Um, so quick note on AdWords, it's actually represented inversely. They, they use ROAS revenue over ad spend. Amazon decided to go with ad cost over sales. So let's take a look at some quick examples. Let's say you spend $10 on a keyword, that keyword generates $100 worth of sales, that's gonna be 0 0.1. Uh, so when you actually express this as a percentage, this turns into 10% A cost. All you have to do is slide that decimal point over two spots or multiply by 100. Another quick example, 500 in cost, $1,000 in sales, that's gonna be 50% A cost. So some quick things to consider. Um, the first thing is that these are time specific. So it's very, very likely that you have a keyword or a campaign or even the account that performs in one A cost one month and then has a totally different cost the next month. So it's always important to know what level of time you're looking at anything for. So it might be lifetime A cost, it might be this quarter or this holiday season or this month or even this week. In general, people want a lower ACoS as opposed to a higher ACoS, uh, which basically means lower ACoS means you spent less to generate revenue, and then a higher ACoS means that you spent a lot more to generate that same amount of revenue. So all things being equal, you know, would you rather generate $10,000 worth of sales at a high ACoS, like maybe 70 or 80%, versus a low ACoS at you know, 10 or 20? Everyone would pick the lower ACoS. The other thing to be cautious of is this is account. This is different depending on what dimension you're looking at. Uh, you could be looking at it at the keyword level, the ad group level, or the campaign level. So there's really many levels to analyze. It's very normal for people to have a big account, and maybe the entire account's lifetime is 30% ACoS. And then maybe just last month it was 40% ACoS. And then even in that last month, you might have some campaigns at 10% ACoS and other campaigns at 60% ACoS. And then inside those campaigns, you might have keywords that perform really well, 10, 20% ACoS, and you might have keywords that perform at really high, 80, 90, maybe 120% ACoS. So it's really important when you're looking at your metrics, you know what time you're looking at them with, so you can parse down and really find what you're looking for and you need to know at what level you're examining your data as well. Now there are some situations where people may intentionally want a high ACoS, uh, situations where you might want to boost your organic rankings, but we'll talk about those in another level when we talk about ACoS goals and all those good things. So for right now, you should know what ACoS stands for, ad cost of sales or ad cost over sales, and you should know in general a lower ACoS is typically more desirable than a higher ACoS. This is Mike, hopefully by now you know all about ACoS, Stay tuned for our channel because we're going to be talking about what your ACoS goal should be and certain situations about like break even and even certain times where you want to push your ACoS to new heights. This is Mike from AdBadger, so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all that info. Have a good one.